I get many, many questions on my social media platforms about my exercises. Will this help my bone density? Will this help my osteoporosis? Will this help my arthritis? Will this help my osteopenia? And I wasn't going to make this video, but it came to me today that I need to talk a little bit deeper into the understanding of what osteoporosis actually is. I have before, I've done videos before, which I'll link at the end of this video and below, so you can have a look at those also. But I want you to understand that osteoporosis is a clue. It's not a disease. It's not something that you cannot fix. It's a clue and an insight, an internal sight, an insight into something that's not connecting well on the inside of your body and that's not connecting well on the outside of your body and your environmental factors also. So an insight is a deep understanding and knowing, accumulating the facts and, and getting a bigger picture. And that's exactly what our bones do for us. What's fascinating to me about our bones, and here's a little secret, this is how I acquire knowledge for myself. Obviously, I have a scientific background, which helps, but I also sit and contemplate and just go, hmm, what does a bone do? Like, if I think about it, what is a bone? And I'm like, well, it's our deep foundation. It's our core makeup. It is the only thing that is left over when we pass away. Our bones remain and there has to be something in that, right? Why do our bones remain solid and strong years after we've passed away, years after our soul is gone? Our bones are our structural life force energy and they should never deteriorate. Because have a look at some of the Egyptian mummies that have been found, their bones are still intact. So there is something wrong or going on. I shouldn't say something wrong because it's not something wrong. There's something going on if your bones are starting to become brittle and weak. That's what I want to talk about today. So in many traditions, our bones are viewed as the very core of our being, symbolizing the fundamental structure of our lives, which means they are the essence of our true self. They are our individual stamp on this life. We have to make sure that they are working well and functioning well and firing well. So why in this day and age are we getting more and more and more cases of osteopenia and osteoporosis? Yes, of course, there's a physiological factor, diet, lifestyle, exercise, all of the things we know about, but we've got to look a little bit deeper as well. I'm doing one of the huge things that our bones need and require for a strong structural integrity in the body, and that is sunlight. Our bones require vitamin D for dermal vitamin synthesis. And I'm not going to go too much into this because I've done an entire video on it, which I'll link down below. But they also require torque and tension. They need a job to do. If they're structurally foundation, if they're the strong essence of our being, we also have to give them that through our physical aspect of life too. So that's why, yes, of course, resistance training and moving is great for exercising our bone health and density, but not only exercising will do it, not only resistance training is gonna do it, because we can't decipher, or our brain can't decipher, our fundamental aspects of our physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual well-being. I can physically give you all the exercises in the world to help build your bone density, but if your emotional and spiritual factors are out of whack, then there's a disconnection between your foundation internally and your foundation externally. To me, bones symbolize our integrity, our resilience, and our, our grounding aspects of our character and our life and our choices and standing in our truth and having that backbone. You know that saying, you're like, oh, she's got She's got a backbone. She knows, you know, she's stuck in her ways. Of course, because that is the integral character of a human being. And that actually comes from the energy of your bones. Consider your bones as a silent witness to your own life, supporting, shaping, and anchoring our being. So this can be quite triggering, what I'm about to say about osteoporosis. But if something's triggering, it's worth taking a look into as well. It's worth sitting with the words and go, why did that make me so upset? Because there's always something in that. So osteoporosis can be the disconnection of one's inner knowing and self. The loss of that anchoring system of your values and your truth and I guess the loss of the ability to anchor our being through all of those pillars of emotional, spiritual, physical and well-being. 
we've lost some sort of connection between those pillars and it can show up in the bones because they are integral foundation and structural support of our being. So think about it scientifically. Our bones are our structure and support. So if they weaken, it means we lose our stability and resilience in many aspects of our life as well. Just like if we lose our inner connection of self, it means our values and our beliefs can become influenced and vulnerable to external pressures. But if we're strong and solid in our belief system and our core knowing of who we are, then our structural foundation, both externally and internally, are like rock solid. The fragility of our inner structure mirrors the fragility of our outer structure, our bones, our cells, our muscles, our ligaments, how we stand tall, our confidence, our expression in the world. So the loss of, you know, anchoring points in our life. We've lost a loved one, trauma, emotional distress and upset, disconnection from self can also or might reflect our weakening structure of our physical self. Therefore, something like osteoporosis, which is a the weakening of our structural core. Yeah, you might be looking at me going, this chick's off her head. <laughs> and that's fine. But it makes sense, doesn't it? Like I sit here and I just say, that makes so much sense. If I physically lose my connection to my inner insight and my inner knowing in myself, I'm going to lose and be vulnerable to external pressures and forces. And if I'm ex if I'm vulnerable to external pressures and forces, so too is going to be my physical structure. It's going to be vulnerable to external forces and pressures. So energetically, it's a massive one for osteoporosis to look deeper into that, into what I just said. But then quickly, yes, of course, we can improve osteoporosis by improving that, by improving our connection and our values and our beliefs and all of that sort of energetic knowing and, and inner work. But also we can improve our lifestyle. We can get outside more. We can ground more. That's a proven fact that osteoporosis is when your bones, because your bones are conductive, right? They have conductive electricity that kind of runs through them. Hence, another reason why they're structurally a foundation to kind of flow energy and chi through the body too. Same as blood. And blood has a lot to do with bone. But how we get conductivity is through ATP and mitochondria. So a lot of the time osteoporosis is because we lose our mitochondria and our mitochondria is our energy making wheel that we get from that, the sun, dermal vitamin synthesis, vitamin D. We get it from grounding. When I put my feet on that ground, I am going to charge up through my bone structures, through my cells. It has massive amounts to do with your lymphatic system. If you've got osteoporosis or osteopenia, it is a big clue and insight that your circulation and your lymphatic drainage is not working as well as it could. And it's like knocking on the inside of you going, hey, we need to fix this up to fix up our structure and integrity. So more lymphatic work. And I'm going to put some links to videos of my lymph work. I also believe in huge amounts of rotational forces on the bone. A lot of people who, you know, uh, physicians say don't put too much stress on the bone, you'll break the bones. But a bone's job and role is to be strong in its support and foundation. The only way we're going to get true strength in a bone is actually giving it a job to do. So if I rotate a joint structure over just moving it in a, a single plane motion, I'm going to get torque and tension from the muscle off the bone. It's literally, if this was my muscle and my skin, uh, my arm was my bone, that motion of rotation helps pull the muscle off the bone in a good way, which has to build the bone density because it's constant pull, torque and tension. So anything rotational, anything circling or swinging the hips or doing my you know, full range of motion exercise and routines, is going to be exceptional for bone health resistance training as well but can we add more rotational movement patterns into that resistance training so forget about lifting the heavy weights pick something light up and do a little bit of unique range of motion because once again not only is that going to pull torque and tension off the bone it's going to build more capacity in the brain it's going to light up more areas in the brain and everything comes from that brain firing and wiring well too if the brain is not firing through the cerebellum which is the receptionist which is where the files come from it's not going to talk down to the bones and the cells is it it's not going to make the muscles contract and relax or make the extension and flexion of the arm happen if it's not starting up here
So we need great brain control. We need vitamin D. That the only way you're gonna get it is from here. The only way you're gonna get grounding in um, mitochondria is from here, right? Is from the conductivity of the ground. The only way you're going to get lymphatic drainage is by physically flushing your toilets in the body, physically doing something about it. I know there's a lot out there that the more medications you take, you take calcium supplements, you take this and that medications to improve osteoporosis. Let's link back to the lymphatic system. The more things that come into the body, the more things are going into your toilet, the more things the toilet has to flush away. So the more supplements and the more medications you're taking, the more toxin, toxic overload you're creating in your lymphatic system to then drain out. And if you're not draining your lymphatic system, it's probably uh, a bit of a double-ended sword because you're meant to be taking something that's good for you, but it's kind of overloading you in the, in the interim. Plus, bones require 12 minerals, minerals and vitamins. I don't know them off the top of my head. Bones are not made of calcium. They're made of 12 minerals and 64 trace. So let's look at those 12 minerals. Yes, calcium and chromium and boron and iron, <clears throat> magnesium, manganese, selenium, silica, sulfur, potassium, phosphorus, and zinc. That's what bones are made of and 64 trace minerals. So it's not rocket science. What does our bones need, ladies? Minerals. And don't quote me on this, but apparently calcium can actually be like a concrete blocker to your bones. It kind of, it, it makes all the things around the bones, your ligaments and your tendons and your joints, a bit more stiff and solid. And therefore it weakens the bones rather than strengthens the bones. And we can look at every person in nursing home that are sitting down on their chair in their nursing home who have osteopenia and osteoporosis taking calcium supplements. It's not helping, it's hindering. And me, like I said, that comes back to you. The more you take in, the more movement you, meet, you need, the more drainage and flush you need. So less is always better. And once again, I'm gonna tag another video that talks about the health industry and how it's, it's there to sell you shit. <laughs> it's not there to teach you that that's gonna keep you vibrantly healthy and well, the sun, that this is a free, beautiful medicine that you can stand on every day and vitalize your entire being with. That simple movement is all that you need. That fresh air is all that you need in your lungs. You don't need a magnitude of breath work and all this sort of stuff. Simplify your health to magnify your life. And then we have to look at our energetic makeup. We have to look at what the deeper meaning of these things in our body are for. And like I said, there is no coincidence that your bones remain here after you don't. They are your signature. <laughs> they are your stamp on this world and this life. And it is just a clue if they are losing their stamp, if they are losing their strength, if they are weakening in their character, that perhaps that's what's happening to the outside of your world as well. You're losing your inner knowing, you're losing your character, you're losing your beliefs, you feel disconnected, you feel like the unknown is happening and maybe you need to work on reconnecting to deeper parts of yourself, emotionally, physically, spiritually and mentally. No more from me, that's a lot to sit with. I know, it's a lot to sit with. This is how my mind works all the time. So journal some of this stuff and just go, whoa. And I'm going to leave you there. <laughs>